Multiple women in the area say they're getting racist and sexist death threats online from a convicted sex offender. They wanted to speak out because they want something to be done about him. Fox 47's Megan Heiler sat down with one of those women today. Megan. It has me worried, you know, because I don't know, like I said, he could pop up at any time. The woman I talked to today wanted to stay anonymous. She says she wasn't even friends with the man on Facebook when he started messaging her. He was messaging me on Facebook, trying to get me to come over to his house. Like constantly, like back to back to back, like uh, messages talking about come over, you're, you're, don't be a scaredy cat, come over. When the woman declined and blocked him on Messenger, that's when he turned hostile. He took to her Facebook page saying more sexual things on her wall. She unblocked him briefly to confront him. And I got angry and I cussed him out on the message, on, uh, you know, on my, on his, co on the comments that he was making. And then he gonna say, you're a dead and she's not alone. News 10 also spoke with another woman who received similar messages. In addition, after the two posted about their experience, even more came forward saying that he had done the same to them. That's when they started digging and found out he's on the Michigan Sex Offender Registry. It's scary because he got a criminal conduct for, you know, molestation with kids and everything. Like, he is out of control. The women have since blocked the man online, but that's of little comfort. They want him off the streets. I hope he go to jail for what he's doing to people. That's that's scary. Like people is walking on eggshells because you threatening their lives. Need to be this stuff need to be put a stop to. It needs to be it needs to be done and over with. I'm Megan Heiler, Fox 47 News. One woman did make a police report about the situation with the Ingham County Sheriff's Office. Online records show he has two convictions for fourth degree criminal sexual conduct in Clinton County. We reached out to the man for comment and we have not heard back. We'll keep you updated.